Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Unacademy. So it's been really long since I took my last class. Since I was not doing well for a few days. Let me check the audio and video before I begin this session. Just give me a moment. The audio and video seems to be fine, so we can start. Hello, am I audible? Hello, am I audible? Yes, I am audible. So it's time we begin this session. Welcome everyone. So in this class we shall be doing a few MCQs related to current affairs. First about me, my name is Manoj Kumar. Manoj Kumar, sorry, I'm a civil engineering graduate. I've cleared SSC CPO, ESI, CUD, CLA, CADO, and I've been training competitive exam aspirants from past three years. Going forward, an academy, an academy government exams brings you six new goals. So which are the six new goals? Bank exams in Kannada, bank exams in Tamil, bank exams in Telugu, stenographer exams, insurance exams, supreme high and district courts clerk exam. So you will learn quant, reasoning, English and general awareness. Now learn from India's top educators. You can enroll now. These are six new goals created. Going forward, what are the highlights of the subscription? Live doubt classes to all your doubts. 100% exam focus classes, quizzes, mock tests and class PDF. Flexibility to study according to your own timings and pace. Prepare with courses specifically designed to cater the specific need of the examination. And now learn from India's top educator. Going forward, uh, get your subscription today. For three months, the subscription is 1800. For six months, it is 2500. For 12 months, it is 3400. And for 24 months, it is 4000. And this is the cost of subscription. You can use my code. My code is MJ10 and you will get 10% off on your subscription. Moving forward about plus classes. So what are the advantages of plus classes? You will get live classes, weekly test, structured courses, unlimited access. You also get personal guidance that is one-to-one -one guidance from top exam expert. You get study planner that's a customized study plan with bi-weekly review. You also get study material that is specialized notes and practice set. You also get expert guidelines and test analysis. Moving forward there is a new batch called Uricon batch for SSC CHSL. That is starting from 16th of March 2022. You can enroll for this batch if you are preparing for SSC CHSL. And regarding SSC CGL and CHSL 2020-23 examination, there is SSC Safalta batch which is starting from March 16th. There will be quick re uh, revision for SSC CGL and CHSL 2020-2023. Classes in Hindi bilingual and notes in English bilingual. Total 400 plus hours watch time, 8 months duration. Ask questions with live raise a hand feature and you can practice with top educators. Going forward, back on popular demand. What is back on popular demand? Government exam scholarship 2.0. So this is back on popular demand. So this exam is going to be on March 26, 2022. That's a Saturday. And at 10 a.m. there will be bank exam. 2 p.m. there will be SSA exam. 5 p.m. there will be railway exam win exciting rewards and up to 100% scholarship so you can scan this QR code here scan this QR code and you can enroll for the test moving forward what are the March offers for plus subscription bank exams all users will get additional three months validity on 12 month subscription and six months validity on 24 month subscription and SSC exams also will get the same moving forward here are a list of tests a few tests for, are for free and a few paid tests as well. You can attempt all these tests live and recorded now. You can take a screenshot of this. Going forward about iconic feature, there will be priority in doubt solving and also live doubt solving. Academic doubts will be solved by doubt solvers or subject matter experts. And excuse me. And the medium of delivery will be the Unacademy app via ask a doubt feature and there will also be priority in live classes priority in live classes will be in live class we are raise a hand feature and what is ask a doubt feature this is now available on the academy website and app with brand new updates 
you can ask up to three doubts at a go you can post two additional doubts while waiting for your solution so simply click crop and submit your doubts and ask a doubt now moving forward raise your hand feature talk with your favorite educator in live class and clear your doubts and remember online is much better than offline and about ssc mega combat test this is also a scholarship test you get to win dell laptop samsung mobile boats uh boat smartwatch jbl speaker google home mini amazon voucher so a lot of goodies here here you will have to answer 60 questions in 60 minutes and that is on march 13th at 12 pm that is this sunday all you need to do is the link for the test is down in the description below you need to use my code my code is mg10 and register for the test and take this test uh, ssc mega combat and you can you have to use my invite code to unlock the test going forward about plus subscription you get 10 percent off and for 24 months it is 7800 and iconic subscription for 12 months it is going to be 650 per month okay that is around 7800 okay and uh, you can use my code mj10 and you'll get 10 percent off on this going forward last Thing that you need to know there is a feature called report and win feature this is an opportunity for all learners to report any inappropriate content in the video and if you are the first one to report a particular issue you get to claim your price uh, so report any inappropriate content using the form that is in the description box below also let's crack it the first question argentina won 2022 women's pan am cup by defeated which team so by defeating which team? So Argentina has won 2022 Women's Pan American Cup by defeating which team? Is it Chile, Peru, Argentina or Spain? Right answer here is Chile. Chile is the right answer. So you can see in the picture here Argentina has won this. So Argentina is in the first place in Women's Pan A American Cup 2022 and Chile is in the second place. Going forward, what is the theme of World Leprosy Day 2022? So, World Leprosy Day 2022, this is celebrated on 30th of March. 30th of March every year. And why is it, uh, so not 30th of March, I'm so sorry, 30th of January. I apologize, 30th of January every year. And why is it 30th of January? Because that is the day that Mahatma Gandhiji died and to uh and to signify his contribution or to make it known to the world his contribution with regard to leprosy patient back then people thought that leprosy was not curable but leprosy is absolutely curable it is uh, caused by a bacteria called mycobacterium leprae please remember the bacteria also that is also important mycobacterium leprae that is the bacteria that causes leprosy and uh, people had thought that leprosy is absolutely not curable but leprosy is absolutely curable and this stigma uh, Mahatma Gandhiji fought against this stigma that leprosy is not curable and uh, that is why to honor his contribution 30th Jan is celebrated as World Leprosy Day but the question here is what is the theme ending the stigma beat leprosy stigma or united for dignity or ending prejudice right answer here is united for dignity that is the right answer the theme for world leprosy day 2022 which is celebrated on jan 30th is united for dignity and also jan 30th is celebrated as martyrs day or shahid divas why why martyrs day or shahid divas the reason this is celebrated as martyrs day or shahid divas is because of, it is the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi ji. Mahatma Gandhi ji died on Jan 30th, 1948. Okay, please remember this. Going forward, South Maubang has become which state's first ODF plus village? ODF means open defecation free. Open defecation free. That is nobody in the village will, uh, uh, will use the public as a toilet. That is, you will not use public space as a toilet that is what is open defecation you defecate in the open and if it is called open defecation free matlab nobody defecates in the open so south maubang is the has been the state's first odf plus village so where does this south maubang lie 
is it assam tripura mizoram or manipur right answer here is mizoram so south mobang has become mizoram's state's first open defecation free plus village going forward how much amount has been paid by india towards united nations regular budget assessment for the year 2022 so how much money has been paid by india towards united nation regular budget assessment for the year 2022 is it 31.7 million 17.5 million 20.3 million or 29.9 million right answer here is 29.9 million that is the right answer and the next question tata sky has announced to change its name to what so you can clearly see in the picture here answer is right here tata sky has announced to change its name to tata play right answer here is tata play that is the right answer going forward which country's air asia has changed its name to capital a so which country's air asia is it indonesia's air asia or singapore's air asia or is it malaysia's air asia or thailand air asia that has changed its name to capital a so which is that right answer here is malaysia malaysia has changed its air asia name to capital a going forward who has launched the niper research portal so who is that union minister who has launched this niper research portal is it narendra modi mansukh mandviya piyush goyal or amit shah right answer here is mansukh mandviya that's the right answer going forward india has joined hands with israel to create how many villages of excellence so india has joined hands with israel india and israel together they have joined hands to create how many villages of excellence 125 180 150 or 210 right answer here is 150 villages so india and israel they have joined hands they have come together to create 150 villages of excellence please note it move forward which country has declared an environmental emergency due to oil spill is it iraq saudi arabia peru or indonesia right answer here is peru peru is a latin american country or a south Afri south american country that has declared environmental emergency due to oil spill going forward who has inaugurated the pandit jesraj cultural foundation so who inaugurated the pandit jesraj cultural foundation is it ramnath kovind narendra modi piyush goyal or amit shah right answer here is narendra modi narendra modi has inaugurated pandit jesraj cultural foundation so who is pandit jesraj that's a question coming up later on so as of 2022 which country is the top steel producer in the world so which is the country which is the top steel producer in the world mm -hmm. is it india china usa or australia which is the top steel producer in the world right answer here is china china is india's top steel producer in the world going forward indian women's hockey team won which position in the asia cup 2022 so what is the position of indian women's hockey team in asia cup 2022 is it first second third or fourth right answer here is india has got third place third place indian women hockey team has won third place in asia cup 2022 going forward which country launched the Hwasong 12 mid-range ballistic missile Hwasong 12 mid-range ballistic missile so which country has launched it china japan north korea or south korea right answer here is north korea has launched this Hwasong 12 mid-range ballistic missile was launched by north korea going forward geological survey of india that is gsi has approved to set up india's first geopark in which state sorry so India's first geo park is coming up in which state? Madhya uh, Maharashtra, Goa, Madhya Pradesh, or Telangana GSI, that is Geological Survey of India, is going to set up India's first geo park in which state? Right answer, it is going to set up in Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is the right answer. Going forward, which institution released the death penalty in India report? Which is that institution that has released the death penalty in India report? Is it National Crime Record Bureau, National Law University, Niti Aayog or Supreme Court? Right answer here is National Law University. National Law University has released the death penalty in India report. Going forward, Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Pandit Jasraj Cultural Foundation on the birth anniversary of Pandit Jasraj. Who is Pandit Jasraj? So tell me, dear learners, who is Pandit Jasraj? Is he an author, painter, classical dancer or a tribal freedom fighter? right answer he is a classical dancer classical dance answer uh, classical dancer is the right answer this question which bank recently in 2022 in jan 2022 uh, listed its first 300 million us dollars for most sub bonds on india inx and became the first indian entity 
to raise money through the Formosa bond. So which is the first Indian entity that has raised money using the Formosa bond? Is it Bank of Baroda, State Bank of India, HDFC Bank or Axis Bank? Right answer here is State Bank of India. State Bank of India has become India's first entity to raise money through the Formosa bonds. Next question. What is the type of authorization granted to Covishield and Covaxin vaccines as of Jan 2022? So what is the type of authorization? Is it conditional market authorization, emergency use authorization, essential market authorization or full market authorization? Right answer here is conditional market authorization. So their status have been changed. Covishield and Covaxin as soon as it was introduced, it had got emergency use authorization. After emergency, it has got conditional market authorization. Going forward, uh, which of the following Indian classical dance is associated with late Milena Salvini of France? So, which is that classical dance which is associated with a la late that is who is no, no more that is Milena Salvini of France? Which is that classical dance? Is it Kathakali, Satriya, Odyssey, or Bharatanatyam? Right answer here is Kathakali. Kathakali is the right answer. So she is a lady, Milena Salvini of France. She is associated with Kathakali. Going forward, the World Gold Council data shows that total gold de uh, demand in India rose to how much in 2021? So total gold demand in India this rose to how much in 2021? 689.2 tons, 797.3 tons. 446.4 tons or 849.3 tons right answer here is 797.3 tons that is how much the total gold demand in india rose to going forward who has been appointed as the new cea that is cea stands for chief economic advisor who is the new chief economic advisor to the government of india in place of K. V. Subramaniam. Is it Shankar Acharya, V. K. Ramaswamy, Kaushik Basu or V. Anantanageswaran? Right answer is V. Anantanageswaran. Please do remember the name. It is V. Anantanageswaran. He is the new Chief Economic Advisor to the Government of India. Okay. The person in the pick is V. Uh, Anantanageswaran. Please remember the name. He is the new Chief Economic Advisor to Government of India. How much amount has been paid by India towards United Nations regular budget assessment for the year 2022? So this I have already told you right answer is 29.9 million US dollars. Going forward, India's first innovation center for graphene is said to be established in which city of the country? So graphene innovation center, this is going to come up in Kerala. So I have told you half of the answer. So Bengaluru is ruled out, Chennai is ruled out, Vizag is also ruled out, that is Vishakhapatnam. Right answer here is Thrissur. So India's first graphene innovation center is going to come up in Thrissur. Going forward, economic survey 2021-22 has been projected has projected how much growth in India's GDP in financial year 23. So how much is the projected growth in India GDP in financial year 2023? Right answer here is 8 to 8.5 percent. 8 to 8.5 percent is the projected India's GDP in financial year 23. Going forward, which sector was least affected by COVID-19 pandemic as per economic survey 2021-22? So, which is that sector that was least affected? Least affected by COVID-19 pandemic as per economic survey 21-22. Is it agriculture, mining, construction or services? Right answer here is agriculture. Agriculture is the right answer. Agriculture remained the least affected sector during COVID-19 pandemic. And this is according to economic survey 2021-22, which was recently presented in the parliament. Going forward, when is Lunar New Year 2022? Lunar New Year 2022, when is it? January 31st, Feb 1st, Feb 5th or Feb 21st? Right answer is Jan 31st. Jan 31st is when there is a lunar new year. Going forward, when is the National Commission for Women Foundation Day celebrated? So when is the National Commission for Women Foundation Day celebrated? Jan 30th, Jan 31st, February 1st or February 2nd. Right answer here is Jan 31st. 
Jan 31st is National Commission for Women's Foundation Day. As you can have a look at here. So National Commission for Women. The Foundation Day is 31st Jan 2022. And the theme is celebrating she the change maker. Please remember the theme. She the change maker. The change maker is the Going forward, Ashneer Grover is the co-founder of which among the following companies? Ashneer Grover is the co-founder of which among the following company? Paytm, PayPal, Bharat Pay or Global 66, right? The answer is Bharat Pay. So Ashneer Grover, he is the, foundation, uh, he is the founder of Bharat Pay who uh, recently resigned diluting his equity. So the name is Ashneer Grover. He is the co-founder of Bharat Pay. Right answer. Next question, who won the record-breaking 21st Grand Slam title on Jan 30th, 2022? 21st Grand Slam title on Jan 30th, 2022. Who has won it? Rafael Nadal, Daniel Medvedev, Novak Jovic or Roger Federer? Right answer here is Rafael Nadal. That is the right answer. Next question, who has become the first Australian woman to win Australian Open in 44 years? So she is the first Australian woman to win Australian Open in 44 years. Who is it? Daria Saville, Samantha Stosser, Madison English or Ashley Barty. Right answer is Ashley Barty. Ashley Barty has become the first Australian woman to win Australian Open in 44 years. Going forward, home delivery of medicines under Sehat scheme has been launched by whom? So home delivery of medicines under Sehat scheme. This has been launched by Home Affairs, Ayush Ministry, Ministry of Defense or Railway Ministry. Right answer is Ministry of Defense. Ministry of, De uh, Ministry of Defense has launched this Sehat scheme under which there will be home delivery of medicines under Sehat scheme. So Defense Ministry has said that the home delivery of medicines has been started from 1st Feb 2022 under services e-health assistance and teleconsultation that is Sehat as part of the government's commitment to digital India ID governance. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has launched the Sehat in May 2021. Mm -hmm. Sehat is the tri services teleconsultation service of the Ministry of Defense designed for all entitled personnel and their families. Going forward, Antonia Costa has been re elected as the Prime Minister of Antonia Costa has been re elected as the Prime Minister of which country? Mm -hmm. Ireland, Sweden, Spain, or Portugal? Right answer is Portugal. Portugal is the right answer. The Prime Minister of Portugal, Antonio Costa, has been re elected after his center-left social party secured landslide victory in 2022 Portuguese legislative election. Socialist party backed 117 seats of the 230 seats in the parliament. Antonio Costa is serving as the 119th Prime Minister of Portugal since 26 November 2015. So he's almost the Prime Minister from seven years. Please remember the name. The name is Antonio Costa. Going forward. What is the theme of 30th National Commission for Women Foundation Day? Theme of 30th National Commission for Women Foundation Day. Uh, she is a change maker, women empowerment, gender inequalities or she will strong. As I have already told you, the, the 30th National Commission for Women Foundation Day is celebrated on 31st January 2022. And the theme is she the change maker. As you can see clearly, she the change maker is the theme. So if this is the 30th National Commission for Women Foundation Day, then the National Commission for Women was established in 1992. Please remember the year it was established on 31st Jan 1992 under the National Commission for Women Act 1990. Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the 30th National Commission for Women Foundation Day program on Jan 31st, 2022 via a video conference. The theme of the program was She the Change Maker. The event was organized to celebrate the achievements of women in different fields. The National Commission for Women is a statutory body of government of India. Going forward, India's Unnati Huda recently represented the country in which came to win gold. India's Unnati Huda. She has recently represented which country? She has recently represented the country in which came to win gold. Badminton, tennis, hockey or athletics? Right answer here is badminton. Badminton is the right answer. Unnati Huda has recently represented India in badminton and she has won gold. Indian teenager Unnati Huda beat compatriot Smith Toshniwal 21-18-21-11 to claim 
the women's singles title at 2022 odisha open badminton tournament the 14 year old unati is the youngest indian to win the 75000 dollar tournament in men's singles india's 21 year old kiran george beat priyan shu rajawat 21 15 14 21 21 18 to emerge as the winner going forward what is the theme of economic survey 2021-22 theme of economic survey 2021-22 what is the theme ethical wealth creation agile approach shifting gears or saving lives and livelihoods saving lives and livelihoods this was a theme of 2020-21 this year the theme of economic survey is agile agile means something that is quick quick approach so that is the theme of 2021-22. Remember the theme, it is Agile Approach. Going forward, Union Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman presented the Economic Survey 2021-22 in the Parliament on Jan 31st, 2022. The central theme of Economic Survey 2021-22 is Agile Approach. The Economic Survey is prepared under the guidance of Chief Economic Advisor of the Finance Ministry. The present Chief Economic Advisor is Dr. V. Anantanageswaran. As per first advanced estimates by National Statistics Office, Indian economy estimated to grow by 9.2% in real terms in 2021-22. That is this fiscal. Moving forward, name the Chairman of LIC whose term has been extended. So tell me the Chairman of LIC whose tenure has been extended. Is it Siddhartha Mohanty, MR Kumar Pankaj Jain or Mukesh Gupta? Right answer here is MR Kumar. MR Kumar is the right answer. So MR Kumar, who is the present chairman of LIC, his tenure has been extended. Okay. Going forward, the government has extended the tenure of MR Kumar, the chairman of IPO. That is IPO stands for Initial Public Offering. Initial Public Offering. That is LIC is going for IPO by uh, one year till March 2023. That is he is going to be the chairman of LIC till March 2023. MR Kumar took charge as chairman of LIC on March 14, 2019. This is second extension that is given to Mr. Kumar. Prior to this, he was given a nine month extension on Jan 30, 2021 till March 13, 2022. The government is looking to list LIC during the current financial year ending month that is March 31st, 2022. Going forward, which month is being observed as UPI Safety and Awareness Week? So which is that month that is being observed as UPI Safety and Awareness Week? Jan, Feb, March or April? Right answer here is Feb. So February is being observed as UPI Safety and Awareness Week. Yeah. Awareness Week as well as Awareness Month. So let's have a look at it in details. So National Payment Corporation of India, that is NPCI and UPI, that is Unified Payment Interface Ecosystem, comprising of leading banks and fintechs, they have announced the UPI Safety Awareness Initiative to create awareness among consumers under this initiative, NPCI, that is National Payment Corporation of India, and the UPI ecosystem will observe Feb 1 to 7 as UPI Safety and Awareness Week. So uh, UPI Safety and Awareness Week will be from Feb 1 to 7, and the whole of February will be UPI Safety and Awareness Month. So NPCI has urged users to follow the concept of UPI Safety Shield, which mentions five tips for safe UPI transactions. Going forward, which company has acquired Odisha-based Nilanchal Ispat Nigam Limited? So which is that company that has acquired Odisha-based Nilanchal Ispat Nigam Limited? Is it Ashok Leyland, Infosys Adani Group or Tata Group? Right answer here is Tata Group. Mm -hmm. So Tata Group has acquired Odisha based Nilan Chalispat Nigam Limited. Going forward, Tata Group company Tata Steel Long Products Limited has acquired Odisha based Nilan Chalispat Nigam Limited for 12,100 crore. Nilan Chalispat Nigam Limited is a steel plant located in Kalinga Nagar in Odisha. So you remember Kalinga War. Okay, that's where we find Nilan Chalispat Nigam Limited. And this was shut in March 2020 due to the continued losses. It has a capacity of 1.1 million tons a year. Now this has been acquired by Tata Group. Nilan Chalispat Nigam Limited is a joint venture of four central public sector enterprises. That is MMTC, NMDC, BHL, mm -hmm. Mekon and two Odisha government public sector undertakings. OMC and EPICOR. Going forward, researchers of which country have discovered a new type of coronavirus called Neoco? So Neoco is a new type of coronavirus that has been discovered by which country is it russia sri lanka 
China or Japan right answer here is China so researchers of China they have discovered Neoco which is a new type of coronavirus or in other words I can call it a variant what is the new variant new variant is Neoco one word Chinese researchers they have discovered a new kind of coronavirus called Neoco which is spreading among bats in South Africa in their study the scientists say that the virus may pose a threat to human in the future Neoco is closely related to Middle East respiratory syndrome a viral disease that identified in South Saudi Arabia in 2012 uh, the virus carries the high mortality rate of Moscow where one in three infected persons die on average and the high transmission rate of the current COVID-19 virus. Going forward, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey has replaced whom as the new Vice Chief of Army Staff. So, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey has replaced whom as the new Vice Chief of Army Staff. Is it Devra Janbu, Manoj Mukund, Chandi Prasad Monte or Satinder Kumar Saini? Right answer here is Chandi Prasad Monte. So, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey, remember Manoj Mukund Narawane, he is the Chief of Army Staff. But here they are asking Vice Chief of Army, not the Chief, they are asking the Vice Chief. So the new Vice Chief is also, the name is Manoj Pandey. And uh, whom has Manoj Pandey replaced? He has replaced Chandi Prasad Mahanti. Government has appointed Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey as the new Vice Chief of Army Staff. He was, take, uh, he was taken over from Lieutenant General Chandi Prasad Mahanti, who superannuated, that is retired on Jan 31st, 2022. Prior to this appointment, Lieutenant General Pandey was the uh, Eastern Army Commander since June 1st, 2021. General Manoj Pandey was commissioned into the Corps of Engineers in December 19th, 1982. In December 1982, that is the Bombay Sapphires. Going forward, India's first of its kind project of mixing hydrogen into natural gas. Now they are mixing hydrogen into natural gas. This has come up. Where has it come up? First of its kind project of mixing hydrogen into natural gas bhopal indoor jabalpur or gwalior right answer here is indoor indoor is the right answer when forward gale that is gas authority of india limited has started india's first of its kind project of mixing hydrogen into the natural gas system at indoor madhya pradesh gale will supply this hydrogen blended natural gas to avantika gas limited for retailing of cng to automobiles and a pipe natural gas to household in indoor Avantika Gas Limited is a joint venture of Gale, that is Gas Authority of India Limited and Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. India has committed to achieving net zero carbon emission by 2070. Please remember this. India has targeted to achieve net zero carbon emission by 2070. Mixing of hydrogen with renewable energy will help in achieving this goal. So that is why we are mixing hydrogen with natural gas. Going forward, which bank has got all approvals for setting up a bad bank? So which is that bank? which has got approval for setting up bad bank is it pnb sbi bob or hdfc that is punjab national bank state bank of india bank of Baroda or hdfc right answer here is sbi sbi has got approval for setting up a bad bank so sbi chairman dinesh kumar kara on 28 january 2022 announced that all approvals for setting up of a bad bank has been received from government paving the way for its formation national asset reconstruction company or bad bank and India Debt Resolution Company are ready to commence operations and a total of 38 non-performing asset accounts worth 82,845 crore have been identified to be transferred to NARCL initially. Next, uh, who has won the World Games Athlete of the Year Award 2021? So who has won this award, World Games Athlete of the Year 2021? Is it PRC Jesh, Rani Rampal, Annu Rani or Jiji Chand? Right answer here is PRC Jesh is actually the goal key of Indian hockey team. So the person in the pick is Pia Shrijesh. So he has won the World Games Athlete of the Year Award 2021. Indian hockey men's hockey player Pia Shrijesh. So he's actually the goalkeeper. Yes, Sushma, right answer. Hi, Sush. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. Long time. Has won the World Games Athlete of the Year 2021. He is the second Indian after Rani Rampal to win this award. She won the award in 2020. A total of 24 athletes from 17 countries, they were nominated for annual awards based on the individual or team performance. 
Alberto Guinness Lopez of Spain and Wushu player mm. Michael Giordano of Italy are runner-ups. So, in forward, scientists of IIT Kharagpur have developed a portable device to detect which disease. Uh, so, scientists of IIT Kharagpur, they have developed a portable device to detect which disease, typhoid, pneumonia, oral mm. cancer or none of this. Yeah, Sushma, I'm doing better. I was not well for a few days. That is why I was not able to take class, but I'm absolutely fine now. And yes, I am back with current affairs. So scientists of IIT Karakpur, they have developed a portable device. What is a portable device? A device which you can take it from one place to another. So this particular device that's been developed by IIT Karakpur will detect which disease it will detect oral cancer. So that is uh, cancer in the mouth. Yes, oral cancer is the right answer. Scientists from IIT Karakpur, they have developed a portable inexpensive device for detecting oral cancer. The estimated cost per device is within 500 US dollars. The new technology enables a clinic clinician in a community health center detect potential vulnerable cases early enough during the first examination. Going forward, Hwasan-12 is a nuclear capable missile by which country? Hwasan-12. This is by which country? China, North Korea, Russia or South Korea. This is a missile, Hwasan-12. That's a news recently, making a lot of news. So this is by which country? Right answer is North Korea. So Hwasong-12 is a nuclear capable missile by North Korea. I don't think so. It's South Korea. It's North Korea. Going forward, North Korea is yes, North Korea successfully tested its Hwasong-12 intermediate range ballistic missile on Jan 30, 2022, from Jagang Province area. This was the first nuclear capable missile testing undertaken by the country since 2017. Hwasong-12 has an estimated range of 4,500 kilometers. Going forward, who has won the Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022? Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022, who has won it? Magnus Carlsen, Arjun Erigesi, or Anish Kiri, or Jordan Van Forest? Right answer here is Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen is the person you can see in the pic here. He has won the Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022. Going forward, in chess world number one, Magnus Carlsen of Norway, has won the Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022 in Master Section. GM Magnus Carlsen scored 9.5 out of 13 with 6 wins and 7 draws to win the tournament for the 8th time in his career. In Challenger Sections, Indian GM Arjun Erigasi won the tournament with a score of 10.5 out of 13 uh, with an 8 wins and 5 draws. Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022 was the 84th edition of annual chess tournament held in Vijak and Z in Netherlands from Jan 14th to 30th. Which company has become the world's leading chip maker by revenue in 2021? So we all have chips in our mobile phones. I mean, in our mobile phones or any uh, device for that matter, computer, laptop, mobile, tablet, smartphone, whatever, everything has a chip. So who is the world's leading chip maker? And this is in terms of the revenue that they have made. In 2021, is it Samsung, Intel, MediaTek, or AMD? All of them, they're chip makers. Samsung develops the MediaTek is Helios, and Intel, you know, Intel chips. It is not Intel; it is Samsung. Samsung Exynos processor. Samsung has this Exynos processor. Yes, and that is the world's leading chip maker by revenue. Samsung is the right answer. So South Korea, and remember, uh, Samsung is a South Korean company. South Korean electronics manufacturing chain Samsung Electronics surpassed the US chip maker Intel to become the world's leading chip maker by revenue in 2021, according to a report released by research firm Counter, uh, Counterpoint Technology Market Research. While Intel posted relatively flattish results, Samsung took the lead with a strong DRAM and a NAND flash market performance in 2021. Samsung also saw solid momentum in logic chips this year. Going forward, Global Center of Excellence in Affordable and Clean Energy. Global Center of Excellence in Affordable and Clean Energy. 
वेर इज दिस इनग्रेटेड आई आई टी जोधपुर आई आई टी पाटना आई आई टी धारवाड और आई आई टी इंडोर राइट आंसर इज आई आई टी धारवाड दट इज इन कर्नाटक रिमेम्बर आई आई टी धारवाड इज इन कर्नाटक एंड दिस गॉड ग्लोबल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस इन अफोर्डेबल एंड क्लीन एनर्जी ग्लोबल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस इन अफोर्डेबल एंड क्लीन एनर्जी हैज बीन इनग्रेटेड एट द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दट इज इन धारवाड इन कर्नाटक ऑन जैन ग्लोबल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सलेंस इन अफोर्डेबल एंड क्लीन एनर्जी विल हेल्प टू बूस्ट रिसर्च इन अफोर्डेबल एंड क्लीन एनर्जी बिल्डिंग कैपेसिटी एंड इनवेंट टेक्नोलॉजी टू इम्प्लीमेंट रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी ऑन फील्ड द फैसिलिटी हैज बीन सेट अप बाई हानीवेल होम टाउन सोल्यूशन इंडिया फाउंडेशन मई फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट हैप्पी शॉप दैट इज बाई एच पी ओके हैप्पी शॉप इज बाई एच पी सी एल दैट इज हिंदुस्तान पेट्रोलियम को ऑपरेशन लिमिटेड दिस इज अ नॉन फ्यूल रिटेल शॉप जस्ट लाइक हाउ वी गो टू शेल Apart from filling fuel, you also get chocolates, biscuits, and lot other munchies. That is a retail store. You can see that in Shell. Similarly, HP has launched Happy Shop. At which center has it launched the Happy Shop? Bangalore, Kolkata, Chennai, or Mumbai? Right answer here is Mumbai. So Happy Shop, that is a retail store. It is a non-fuel retail store. It is not for fuel. Okay, and HP CL has launched this. it has been launched at mumbai more on this hindustan petroleum corporation limited has marked its foray into non fueling non fuel retail sector by inaugurating its retail store under the brand name happy shop to make available the products of daily need to its customers at their convenience the first retail store was launched by hpcl in september 2021 in mumbai at the company's retail outlet at the napian c road giving it a further push the company has announced opening two more Convenience stores of Happy Shop on Jan 31st, 2022. Zaymora Castro sworn in as the first female president of. Zaymora Castro is the first female president of which country? Alaska. Okay, again, Alaska has been repeated. I will. Uh, Argentina. Alaska, Argentina, Honduras, or Mexico? Right answer is Honduras. Zaymora Castro has been sworn in as the first female president of Honduras. More on this. In Honduras, Freedom and Refoundation uh, Re Party member Zaymora Castro has been sworn in as the first female president of this country. 62-year-old Castro replaces President Juan Orlando Hernandez as the 56th president of Honduras. Uh, Hernandez has held the position for eight years, from 27 Jan 2014 to 27 Jan 2022. Next question: Where has this put me? Sputnik Guster Festival 2022 started. Spitu Guster, I am sorry, Spitu Guster, Spitu Guster Festival 2022. This has been started in which state or union territory? Is it Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Haryana, or Delhi? Right answer is Ladakh. Spitu Guster Festival. You can have a look at in the uh, picture in the festival. This is a Spitu Guster Festival. Spitu Guster uh, Festival is a two-day annual celebration of Ladakhi culture and traditional heritage that is celebrated on 30th and 31st Jan 2022 in Leh and Ladakh Union Territory. On the same day, Geluk Pa Order of Tibetan Buddhism, founded by G Song Kapa, is also commemorated. An annual winter festival that aims at increasing brotherhood and friendship among believers. and it is a celebration of peace and prosperity that is celebrated at the spituk monastery that is in leh and ladakh union territory so where is the spituk monastery it is in leh and ladakh union territory come forward amit shah unveils the mural of mahatma gandhi ji made from kulad cups so mural of mahatma gandhi ji that is made of kulad cups whereas amit shah unveils this gujarat maharashtra rajasthan or bihar right answer is gujarat so this is made up of kulad cups if you can have a look at the mural here all of this is made up of cups so home minister amit shah has unveiled a grand wall mural of mahatma gandhi ji that's made out of 2975 clay cups that is earthen cups at sabarmati river front in amadabad on 74th death anniversary of father of nation so when is the death anniversary of father of nation it is 30th jan uh, 30th jan is the death anniversary and gandhi ji was martyred on 30th jan 1948 and the event which marked the 74th martyrs day was also attended by union minister uh, micro small and medium enterprise minister narayan rare and gujarat chief minister bupendra patil the mural commissioned by kadi and village industries commission 
was put together by 75 potters brought to Ahmedabad from across the country. And the next question, India's first geological park will come up. Where will India's first geological park come up? Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh or Chhattisgarh? Right answer here is Madhya Pradesh. India's first geological park will come up in Madhya Pradesh. The first geological park of the country will be at Lamheta village. Please remember the name Lamheta village. That is on banks of river Narmada in Jabalpur district of Madhya Pradesh. The announcement to this effect was made by BJP MP from Jabalpur that is Rakesh Singh. Approval for the park has been granted by Geological Survey of India under the Ministry of Mining Government of India for construction of the park with an investment of 35 crore. And Geological Survey of India has approved an amount of 1.30 crore for preparing its detailed report. Next question, which IPL team has become the India's first sports unicorn company? So which is that IPL team that has become India's first sports unicorn company? Is it Mumbai Indians, Chennai Super Kings, KKR or RCB? Right answer here is Chennai Super Kings. So Chennai Super Kings has become India's first sports unicorn company. So what is unicorn? Unicorn is a company whose gross revenue is more than 1 billion US dollars. 1 billion US dollars. More than 1 billion US dollars is what we call a Unicorn and India's first sports unicorn. In sports, this is a unicorn that is Chennai Super Kings. And Chennai Super Kings has become India's first sports unicorn with its market cap having 7,600 crores and its share in the grey market trading in the 210 to 225 price band. Mind the thing, Dhoni led CSK that is Chennai Super Kings, which won its fourth IPL title in Dubai last year, now has a market cap of more than its parent entity india cements so india cements only has a market cap of 6869 crores but those from india cement who invested in chennai super kings now csk has more that is what is business and two key reasons which have led csk's market cap to go past its parent entity are team winning its fourth ipl title in dubai and two new franchisee uh, being added to the upcoming season at record prices Going forward, Muneshwar Nath Bandari has been appointed to the Chief Justice of which High Court. Muneshwar Nath Bandari is the Chief Justice of which High Court. Madras, Bombay, uh, Orissa or Calcutta. Right answer is Bombay, uh, Madras High Court. Right answer is Madras High Court. Muneshwar Nath Bandari is the new Chief Justice of Madras High Court. And do remember, the swearing-in of the Chief Justice of High Court will be done by Governor. Oath of office will be by Governor. But the appointment will be by president. The president will appoint the chief justice of any high court and the uh, oath of office will be taken in the presence of governor. Supreme Court Chief Justice N.V. Ramana has recommended uh, to the center Justice Munishwar Nath Bandari to be appointed as the chief justice of Madras High Court. Justice Bandari, whose parent high court is Rajasthan High Court, has been serving as acting chief justice of Madras High Court. Next question, which state have highest number of scheduled cost entrepreneurs they are not asking the population they are asking the entrepreneurs so which is that state which has highest number of scheduled cost entrepreneurs is it Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh? right answer here is Maharashtra Maharashtra has the highest number of scheduled cost entrepreneurs Maharashtra tops India's list in number of micro, small and medium enterprises owned by entrepreneurs from scheduled cost with as many as 96,805 enterprises Tamil Nadu with 42,997 enterprises and Rajasthan with 38,517 units occupy the second and third spots according to data furnished by Office of Development Commissioner in Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. The fourth, fifth and sixth slots belong to Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka and Punjab respectively. Next question, who among the following is the author of book titled Operation Katma? So who is the author of the book titled Operation Katma? R.C. Gangu. Ashwini uh, Bhatnagar, Raskin Bond or both 1 and 2. Right answer here is both 1 and 2 that is R.C. Gangu and Ashwin Bhatnagar. They are the authors of the book Operation Katma. More on this, a book titled Operation Katma has been released which is authored by journalist R.C. Ganju and Ashwini Bhatnagar. It is an eyewitness accounts by them. The book is based upon the special operation by group of Jammu and Kashmir police which led to the killing of 22 terrorists of Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front. It is a graphic first-hand thriller on the terrorism in Kashmir. 
the blood splattered rivalry between JKLF and HM and the short sharp surgical strike operation Katma that broke the back of terrorism in the valley. Next question. Cabinet has approved to set up WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine in Mid Center. In which state? So Cabinet has approved to set up WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine. And this is going to come up in which state? Punjab, Gujarat, Rajasthan or Maharashtra. In which state is the WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine? Is going to come up. In which state is it going to come up? Right answer, it is going to come up in Gujarat. WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine is going to come up in the state of Gujarat. Union Cabinet has approved the establishment of WHO Global Center for Traditional Medicine in Jamnagar, that is in Gujarat. This would be first and the only global center for traditional medicine across the globe that is set up by World Health Organization. World Health Organization GCTM, that is General, uh, Global Center for Traditional Medicine, this will be established under the Ministry of Ayush. Going forward, who has been appointed as the new President of Financial Action Task Force? So, who is the new President of Financial Action Task Force? Is it Abid Hassan, T. Rajakumar, Venu Rajamoni, or Nirupama Rao? Right answer here is T. Rajakumar. He is the new President of Financial Action Task Force. T. Rajakumar of Singapore has been appointed as the new President of Financial Action Task Force. He will assume office with effect from July 1st, 2022. For a fixed period of two-year term, Mr. Kumar will replace Dr. Marcus Player of Germany. T. Raja is the current head of Singapore's delegation to the Financial Action Task Force since 2015. This will be the first time that Singapore is taking on the presidency of Financial Action Task Force since becoming its member in 1992. The Financial Action Task Force is Global Money Laundering and Terrorism Financing Watchdog. Its headquarter is in Paris, France. Next question, who has become the 23rd Women Grand Master of India? So who is the 23rd Women Grand Master of India? Is it Priyanka Nuttak, Padmini Roth, Bhakti Kulkarni or Isha Karwade? Right answer here is Priyanka Nuttak, the lady you see in the picture here. She is the 23rd Women Grand Master of India. 19-year-old Priyanka Nuttaki has secured the final WGM norm at MPL's 47th National Women Chess. Championship, she became India's 23rd Women Grandmaster. So she's 23rd Women Grandmaster. She is from Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Priyanka Nuttaki scored her first WGM norm in Jan 2019 and crossed 2300 rating criteria in the next two months. However, much like a lot of players, the COVID-19 pandemic delayed her title hopes. Priyanka braved the odds, resuming playing over the board tournaments in October 2021 at Chess Mood Open. In her third over the board tournament of the year, she scored second WGM and made in IM norm at the 7th Sunway City Gates Open 2021. All you need to remember is 23rd Women Grand Master of India is Priyanki Nuttaki. Going forward, which state government will soon implement Ama Yojana and Bahini scheme? Ama Yojana and Bahini scheme. This will be implemented by which state government? Nagaland, Bihar, Sikkim or West Bengal. Right answer here is Sikkim government. Sikkim government is going to implement Ama Yojana and Bahini scheme. What is Ama Yojana? Ama Yojana is a scheme for helping non-women mothers, non-working mothers. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Non-working mothers. Non-working mothers is Ama Yojana. Bahini scheme is for benefiting girl students of the state. So non-working mothers have Ama Yojana and Bahini scheme is going to benefit girl students of the state. Yes, Sikkim is the right answer. So, Chief Minister of Sikkim, who is it? Prem Singh Tamang has announced this, that the state, go that the state government is going to implement Ama Yojana and Bahini scheme. Going forward, India's largest reclining statue of Lord Buddha is being built at which place? Reclining, that is sleeping. Sleeping statue of Buddha, that is largest statue of Lord Buddha, is going to come up at which place? Uttar, pra Uttar Pradesh. West Bengal, Bihar or Jharkhand, right answer is it is going to come up in Bodh Gaya. Where is Bodh Gaya? Where is Bodh Gaya? Bodh Gaya. Bodh Gaya is in Bihar. So a reclining statue of Lord Buddha is going to come up at Bihar. Uh, and uh, India's largest reclining statue of Lord Buddha is being built at 
in both Gaya and Bihar. The statue of Lord Buddha is in the sleeping posture. It is being made using fiberglass. The statue will be 100 feet long and 30 feet high. The Jain statue is being built by Buddha International Welfare Mission, one of the top Buddhist temples in West Bengal. Its construction started in 2019. Bodh Gaya is a place of enlightenment of Lord Buddha and famous pilgrimage site for Buddhism visited by devotees from all. Next question, which Indian Grandmaster has won Grandi Sachi Catolica International Open Chess Tournament? So this is a chess tournament by Italy. It's called Grandi Sachi Catolica International Open Chess Tournament. So who is that Indian Grandmaster who has won this? Vidit Gujarati, Nihal Sarin, Arjun Erigasi or SL Narayan. Right answer here is SL Narayanan as one the uh, Grandmaster. So in chess, Indian Grandmaster SL Narayanan was declared the winner in Grandi Sachi Catolica International Open that was held in Italy on March 8, 2022. Meanwhile, his compatriot R. Pragnananda, he became second. Though Narayanan and six others including Pragnananda finished equal first with 6.5 points after nine rounds but narayanan took the top spot on the base of better tie break score the 24 year old sl narayanan from thiruvananthapuram earned the title of grandmaster in 2015 and is the 41st grandmaster from india going forward who has become the first foreign leader in history to directly address the uk house of commons so who is that first foreign leader in history who has directly addressed the UK House of Commons? Is it Joe Biden, Narendra Modi, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, or Emmanuel Markan? Right answer here is Vladimir Zelensky, who is the Prime Minister of War Ravaged Ukraine. So, Vladimir Zelensky, the person you can see in the picture here, he is the Prime Minister of Ukraine. He has become the first foreign leader in history to address the UK House of Commons. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky became the first foreign leader in the history to address Britain's parliament in a virtual speech. He directly addressed UK PM Boris Johnson and UK MPs in a packed House of Commons invoking the wartime defense of former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill saying, we will fight to the end. Going forward, India's first women-owned industrial park has been opened in which city? This is a women-owned industrial park. So women are the owners here. Of this industrial park this is going to come up in which city pune hyderabad bengaluru or chennai right answer here is hyderabad so india's first women owned industrial park is going to come up in hyderabad more on this india's first 100 percent women owned industrial park opened in hyderabad telangana on march 8 2022 that is commemorating the international women's day 2022 the park was inaugurated by Telangana Industries Minister K.T. Ramarao. Correct, correct, Sush. Uh, Hyderabad is the right answer. The industrial park has begun its operation with 25 women owned and operated green projects. It is called FLO Industrial Park as it is promoted by FICI, that is Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industries Ladies Organization in partnership with Telangana government. The FLO, that is... Uh, Federation of Ladies Organization industrial park that stretches across 50 acres has been built with the investment of 250 crore. It is a flagship project that is first of its kind in India. The participation is open to chapter members and national members of FN. Going forward, Lakshmi for Lakshmi campaign has been launched by which mutual fund house? Lakshmi for Lakshmi campaign. Lakshmi for Lakshmi. That is money for money campaign this has been launched by which mutual fund house right answer here is hdfc mutual fund house has launched this lakshmi for lakshmi campaign going forward hdfc mutual fund has launched an end-to-end -end women led missed call advisory service called lakshmi for lakshmi service on the occasion of international women's day next question which bank rolls out housework is work initiative to bring educated women to work so, so to bring educated women to workforce, there is a bank that has launched this housework is work initiative. Which bank is it? Is it HDFC Bank, ICICI, Yes Bank or Axis Bank? Right answer here is Axis Bank has a rolled out housework is work initiative. Uh, going forward, which state government has announced 
Matra Shakti Udyamita scheme. So, which is that state government which has launched the Matra Shakti Udyamita scheme? Is it Maharashtra, West Bengal, Gujarat, or Haryana? Right answer here is Haryana. Haryana has launched Matra Shakti Udyamita scheme. Uh, on the International Women's Day, Haryana government has launched this. And yeah, that's it for today. That's it for today. I hope you like the video. We will further continue with more and more current affairs. If you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let us catch up yet again in another video. And until the next video.